I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand how to graph the solution of a differential equation using the concept of direction fields. The question here is sketch the graph of the solution of differential equation y dash equals to x plus y. Now this first order differential equation tells us that the slope of the solution at any point is sum of the coordinate points value x plus y that is what it tells us so that means if you consider a point which is kind of origin 0 plus 0 is 0 so slope of the graph at the origin will be 0 a horizontal line so if I mark the small dashed line here it indicates that the graph of the solution of this differential equation should be horizontal when it is close to this point right now if I increase the value of y and keep the x value as 0 then we see that the slope as we move up will increase so if y is 0.5 the slope will be like 0.5 if y is 1 slope will be 1 then be 1.5 2 will be higher kind of like this do you see that so if I draw these dashed lines and for the negative portion as you can see negative 1 will be like this this will be slightly lesser this will be more than this kind of like so these small lines which I mark here shows the direction of the graph of solution differential equation even without explicitly finding the solution do you get the idea so that's the beauty of direction fields so what we can do is we can fill up the whole area uh, just by adding x and y values and keeping that as a slope of the solution right that's the equation that's how you read this equation so let me draw a few more and let's say if x is 1 and let's say y is 0 in this case the slope will be 1 now if y is 0.5 it will be slightly higher so now it is 1 plus 1 which is 2 so it's kind of increasing right so so I'll just make this like all right so I'm quickly kind of doing it uh, just to give you an idea of how this uh, solution graph will move through right so similarly if I have x s equals to 2 y is 0 slope will be 2 and be like kind of steeper and steeper and steeper and steeper as we move up right because the y value gets added up right uh, similarly let me just get some more points here let's look for these horizontal things they will help us a lot now whenever x and y values are uh, kind of negative over one another if x equals to minus y we'll get a horizontal line so at minus one uh, y is minus one will give me y is plus one will give me a horizontal line at two again it will give me so I'm just sketching few important lines correct let's also look for the lines which will have slope of let's say minus one so minus one y is zero x is minus one this this is a point right and if x is 0 well that's minus 1 okay and if minus 2 is a value for x then y equals to 1 so this graph gives me a minus 1 line do you see that it's kind of important to sketch few so that you get an idea of how the solution will be right so let me just fill a few more points here so that we can share the overall picture and then we can graph a specific solution right Normally, as you know, solution of a differential equation will give you a family of curves. So what you see here is a family of curves hidden with these kinds of slopes at each and every coordinate point. Do you get an idea, right? So let me just make a few more of these. Uh, so at minus 1, if I take y as 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, so, so this slope will be 1, right? So likewise, at minus 2, if I take y as 2, 3 it will be plus 1 so these are my plus 1 slopes do you see that plus 1 slopes okay now uh, let's go through this 0.5 thing also so it will be horizontal this so I'll draw an average of these two is that okay now similarly this is kind of average of these two right okay so likewise I could draw steeper than this okay steeper than this okay that's okay so that is how we get some some points here okay now if I 
provide you with the point through which my curve goes through, then I can actually sketch the solution, right? So if I say uh, point P, which is, let's take a point, let's say, let this be the point on the curve, which is 0, 1. So let's say the point P, which is 0, 1, lies on the curve. Now, curve means the solution of the curve, right, of this particular equation. In that case, I know exactly how the curve for the solution of this differential equation look like, right? So now, we know the point which is on the curve. We also know the direction in which the graph should move. So that's the direction, right? And here, this set indicates kind of a asymptotic curve. So curve is going to approach this. And as we have moved here inside, we know we have to go in this direction. So what I can do is I can sketch a curve like this. And as we move here, we know we are moving in this direction. So we kind of get the solution of the differential equation y dash equals to x plus y from the direction fields. All right? Knowing a point, we have a specific solution even without solving the equation. That's the beauty of this, right? Now, this is extremely important when we have difficult questions to work with in which it is difficult to find solution to a differential equation or when we experiment, we collect a lot of data. We don't know what final results will be, but plotting them and finding the direction fields provide us with an idea of how to approach and find the solution. I am Anil Kumar and I hope you really appreciate this concept. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Feel free to post questions like if you like. Thank you and all the best.